Awesome. We're joined by Celine Urban after a second straight day of a 68. Celine, you really turned it on on the back nine, a bogey-free performance with three birdies uh, at numbers 11, 14, and 17, which is the Aeon Risk Reward hole this week. Um, take us through uh, today how you got things rolling, and especially on the back nine, how you uh, were able to shoot a nice number on the back. Yeah, the truth is that today was uh, quite difficult to deal with a six-hour delay, so it was very uh, quite a long day, but uh, I, I think the key was to keep patience a lot, and uh, I was uh, I was taking it easy shot by shot, and really I... I, I, I like the, the back nine maybe a bit better than the front nine, so I felt very comfortable and just, as I say, shot by shot. But the, the birdies are, were quite close, like I was given for birdie on 17, I think I was like 5 feet on, on 14, so it was like a very good, um, very good shot uh, from tee to green, so I was happy with my long game today. How did you stay fresh during the <laughs> six hour delay? That's a long time to kind of be waiting for emails and just trying to stay mentally sharp to prepare yeah, to play. It, it, it is quite tough to stay uh, focused uh, when you wake up at 5 a.m. and you play at almost at 2 p.m. But um, I, I, I kind of I'm lucky because I like tennis a lot. So I, I watched some Wimbledon game and also after there was a Euro Cup game, uh, Switzerland against uh, uh, Spain. So that that kind of helped me to deal with the weight and, and to enjoy the morning. Which, uh, who was on Wimbledon that you were watching? Oh, well, so I was watching several. I mean, I, I'm a fan of um, Garbine Muguruza, but she unfortunately lost. I was a bit, a bit sad for her. But, um, yeah, and uh, I live in Spain, so I'm quite a fan. I mean, as, a, as friends, I don't know the results. You have to tell me the results, by the way. Who, yeah. who qualify uh, between Spain and, and uh, I'm not sure who qualify, but uh, I, I was following the Spanish team also on soccer. It's a good way to spend spend some time. <laughs> yeah. how, how much different did the course play? It received about uh, 1.66 inches of rain this morning. Yeah. How much different did the course play from yesterday? It was obviously a bit longer. Um, I mean, yesterday was already in, like a, a bit uh, still, still soft, but uh, but definitely I played in the afternoon yesterday, so the ball was flying a lot, and uh, so definitely today was looking shorter. Uh, I mean, longer. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah, it's good we could place the ball on the fairway yeah, <laughs> because exactly. there were lots of muds on, on, on the balls. Exactly. And the number 17, uh, just to, to take us through the Aeon Risk Reward Hole, yeah. could you just take us through uh, your strategy for it today and yeah. how you found a birdie? Yeah, so our strategy with my caddy was to, to uh, st like three shot hole, like we, because the bunker is very, very into play with the driver. Mm -hmm. So I just took it easy, three wood, uh, then a layup with a, a rescue to give a, give myself a good number, and it was perfect. The number I had, like I had uh, in meters, 94 meters, which is, was my perfect uh, uh, 52, and I end up like I almost put it in in three. So it was like very close to for for birdies. Yeah, I saw it on TV. It was a very nice, yeah. very nice approach shot. <laughs> Thank you. You uh, you played three Symmetra Tour events uh, early this year and then since then you've played four LPGA events. What have you done with maybe some of your weeks off and how have you stayed sharp from a competitive standpoint? Yeah, so also I, I'm a member of the Ladies European Tour so I've been playing also back forward. So I, I was in Sweden right after the US Open. I, I was back in Su Sweden the week after and and the week before King's Mill, I was in South Africa also. So I, I've been playing a lot, actually. The, the Symmetra events, I took them as a, let's say, warming up of the season, uh, waiting to get into the LPG events. And uh, I was quite confident uh, then after playing well. Uh, the US Open result obviously helped a lot. I, I finished tie 14 there, so it helped me a lot to have a good rush of all. And then now I, I will focus on LPGA and also on Ladies European Tour. Awesome. Thank you so much, Celine. <laughs> Thank you very much.